Hey fellow IT superstars, welcome to the IT Superstar channel. My name is Alan and in this video we're going to discuss uh, Linux basically. So I've been thinking, you know, as I said in my, uh, if you've been watching some of my CCNA videos, I said that I'll be covering other topics like AWS, Linux, etc. So I decided to make a quick video which will be first in a series of uh, many videos which I will hopefully make on Linux and I plan to take you from uh, knowing absolutely nothing about Linux to being a um, Linux engineer basically going to quite advanced uh, stuff towards the end and uh, right now I'm logged into my um, one of my uh, EC2 instances uh, basically one, one of my Linux machines on AWS this is uh, my private uh, AWS uh, machine, and you can open your own, uh, if you didn't know this already, uh, you can open um, your own AWS account for free and pretty much use like uh, almost for a whole year, you can use a free tier and I'll be uh, covering how to do this and, and other uh, AWS related topics in a different video. But in this video, basically, um, I wanted to, you know, just uh, give a quick uh, overview of, uh, you know, moving around in a terminal, basically, in a command line for people who are new to a command line. So we can, you know, think about, uh, you know, I like to think like um, answering the questions, you know, what can I do once I'm in the command line? So obviously you see just this black screen and I mean you don't know what to do so one of the things that I may want to know is like uh, who am I who, who, who am I logged in you know what is my user and I can do that by typing who am I all together uh, one word and if I click who am I it will give me Ubuntu this is a user on this uh, particular particular uh, AWS instance it's a default user for this uh, machine and you can see that uh, name is also indicated here uh, next thing that uh, might uh, that I might want to know is uh, are there any other you know people logged in on a machine so I can just type W and it will show me who's online so you can see here I can also see my uh, CPU usage which is minimal and the time of login Etc. And it says here that it's Ubuntu user. Had there been uh, more users logged in, they would be shown here. Now, you may wonder, you know, like, uh, okay, so I know who am I? I know that there's no one else on the machine, but uh, where am I? Like in this uh, hierarchy of, of, you know, folders and files, where am I currently? Like, what is my current position? And you can just type PWD like a print working directory and it will show you where you are and in this case the slash indicates basically the root directory which is uh, yeah like a, it's like a, as it as the name says basically it's a root directory you can't go any levels below that so root directory is directory upon all other upon which all other uh, directories are based there built on top of that. So now that I'm in a root directory, uh, another thing I may ask is like, uh, what else is there? You know, what else is there around? And if I type LS, I will see that uh, there's actually quite a few files and folders. And yeah, you can see they're in different colors and have, uh, you know, um, different names, etc. So um, this is not really that useful. So one thing that you may want to do is type ls dash la, which will basically show you everything and you will also see the permissions. So you can see here on the left hand side, we see permissions for all of the files and folders. And uh, where you have uh, D here, letter D at the at the beginning indicates that um, this is a folder, it's not a file. So with, anything without D is a file and anything with the D starting with D is a folder. These other 
uh, letters like R, W, etc. These are basically file permissions, and I will create a separate video on this. So uh, we'll leave this for another video, but basically this indicates like uh, permissions, which users can do what, et cetera, et cetera. And I will, as I said, I will cover this in a separate video because I want to make this uh, video relatively short. Now, um, if you look at this, you will notice that there is a home directory, which is like uh, basically like my computer in Windows or something, you know, where, where you can store your documents, etc. And within this home, uh, if I go, uh, you, you may think, you know, okay, now I know what's there, but how do I move around? How do I go, for example, from this uh, root directory? How do I go to this uh, home directory? And one way you can do this is by typing CD, which means like, um, you can think of it like a change directory, basically. And then you type home and you are in your home directory. And if you do ls, you will see there is this user Ubuntu. If there were other users, their uh, home directories would be also listed. And if I want to go to Ubuntu, I just type cd, and I start typing Ubuntu. And in Linux, same as uh, uh, in uh, Cisco iOS, basically, you can just use tab to auto-complete. So I just press tab and it basically auto-completed. So right now I'm in, a, in a, I'm in a Ubuntu user directory and I can verify this by pressing PWD. And as you can see, um, I'm in this directory. Now, let's say if I wanted to go back one directory, I could type CD and then dot dot. And this would uh, take me back one level to home directory. And if I go CD just slash, I would go back to the root directory, which again, I can verify. And let's say if I am um, far away, you know, if I don't want to type too much and I just want to move to my uh, home directory, well, one way to do this is uh, typing CD and then tilde, hit enter. And let's see where we are. We are in our, uh, as you can see, we are in our uh, home directory. So CD uh, space tilde will take you to your home directory. Now, uh, let's see what else can we uh, demonstrate in this basic video? Okay, let's see, uh, now that we are in our, uh, uh, in our uh, home directory, if we do ls, we'll see there is uh, nothing there. And uh, let's say we want to create a file. So if I do uh, touch and I write my name Alan, it will create a file name Alan. And if I do ls, you will see that this file is here. Um, there are two basic files. Basically, you, you can create a regular file or you can create a, a hidden file. And you create a hidden file by preceding it with a dot. So if I go touch and I go, let's say, dot test, I will create a test hidden file, basically. And if I do ls, I will only see Alan because ls will not show me hidden files. If I want to do that, I can go ls, la as I've shown before, and this will show me everything that's in there. And sure enough, there is a dot test, which is a hidden file, and there is this uh, Allen file. Uh, now that we created these files, let's, um, maybe I want to create a folder as well. So I can do make directory, mkdr, and I can create, uh, let's say, uh, folder one. Now, if I do ls, I will see that uh, in addition to Allen file, there is uh, also folder. And let's say I want to copy Allen to folder one. I can say cp Allen to folder one, folder one. And let's say now ls, let's go cd 
folder one do ls and sure enough alan is there and there is another command that i want to show you so let's go back now we can see that uh, both alan and folder one are here uh, if i want to let's say i want to move this uh, not copy but i want to move it i can use move alan and then folder one now we already have a copy of alan and folder one so let's see what will happen so if i go ls folder one is here but alan is missing now if we go cd folder one and do ls there there is a alan so what happened well it just merged two files it seems that way so if we go back and we go touch and we go test ls that created a test file and if i go move test to folder one let's do ls here so the test is gone you see previously was here now it's gone now let's see uh, we go to folder one and we do ls there test is there if i want to remove any of these files i can use rm for remove and then the file name test sorry that's why it's uh, usually it's always uh, useful to use tab to autocomplete because uh, very often you can uh, uh, have a typo in typing the name etc and when you use um, when you use autocomplete you will always get uh, get it correct so if i do this and then ls i will see that the uh, test is gone so yeah rm and then file name removes that file but let's go back uh, one level and ls here and we see there is a folder here so let's try to remove this folder the same way that we remove this file so i can say rm and then uh, folder and i try to auto complete okay and let's see what we what happens rm cannot remove folder one it's a directory ah okay so this will not work on directories it will only work on files because uh, directories or folders, whatever you want to call them, they contain other files and folders. So in order to do this, I'm going to go rm-r and then go folder one. And sure enough, it will uh, remove everything. This R, you can think of it as recursively remove folder and everything that's uh, in the folder. Now let's... Uh, Let's, uh, let me use uh, Nano, and I will talk about Nano and VI in a separate, uh, this, this is like a default editor that's usually in uh, most of the Linux distros. VI is pretty much everywhere, Nano is not always, but uh, yeah, let's see if Nano is here. And I'm gonna say again, Alan, to create, uh, yeah, Nano is here. If it wasn't, we would just use uh, VI. And I just want to say, uh, Alan is a uh, hacker. Nice, okay. And I'm going to use Control X and say, yes, I want to save it. And I will save it as Alan. So if I go LS now, I will see that Alan is here. But uh, without going to without opening nano editor or any other editor how can i know what's in this uh, what's in this uh, file well there's a command handy command for this it's called cat and you can think of it as print on the screen whatever is in the folder so if i go cat and then alan hit enter it will show me whatever is uh, in there uh, yeah, we pretty much covered the uh, covered the basics, and uh, 
one thing now that uh, when when you have when you have typed a lot, you can basically just use a clear command to clear everything. And if I type IP address, I will get my uh, IP address here, basically, and uh, network information. And let's say I want to clear again, as, as uh, I've shown you. Basically, you don't have to type clear. You can actually press Control and L, and it will clear your screen. So that would be it for the basic orientation for the first lesson. As I said, I'll be uh, adding many more less lessons on Linux, and I'll take you from zero to hero, as they say. I'll try to you know, go very deep and wide. Um, I'll be covering mainly Red Hat distro, basically on um, CentOS, but I will try for the most in most cases, I'll try to have uh, Ubuntu open in parallel and show you those things that are different in Ubuntu as opposed to uh, uh, Red Hat based distros. So thank you very much for viewing and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, share the knowledge, help me uh, grow my channel so we can help uh, many more people get the uh, free knowledge basically and uh, become IT superstars. Thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.